Ooh, okay, we got good cards here. Actually, quite a few good cards. Um, I'm probably taking Mox Pearl. Very hard to pass Mox in, I think. They're just great. Mox Pearl, I think... Let's see, what is my Mox hierarchy? I think Mox Sapphire is the best. Then Mox... Mox Pearl might actually be the second best. And that's kind of... Or maybe Mox Ruby. Yeah, Mox Sapphire, then Ruby, because Mox Ruby is good in mono red and, like, blue red artifacts and stuff. Then Mox Jet, then Mox Pearl, then the green Mox. I think that's my ordering. Anyway, I'm going to take this. Hope to Wheel, Bolt, Tinker, Badlands. Doesn't matter. Pack 2. Ooh. Okay. So, Mox Pearl can do a couple things. I think I'm going to take Frantic Search here because I think Frantic Search is one of the best cards in the whole cube. It's banned in a lot of formats for a reason. And that is, if you can get anything that makes your lands tap for more mana, Frantic Search just generates incredible amounts of mana. With one high tide, Frantic Search generates three ma or six mana. Like, what? <laughs> That's insane. I'm going to keep my eyes open because I think one of the best ways to use a white mox is the black-white aggro deck. So Tide Hollow Scholar is the safer pick, but I want to have a little fun, so I'm going to take the better card. Wow. Yeah, so we could have gone Tide Hollow Scholar into Mother of Runes, but I'm going to go Frantic Search into Time Spiral because that seems more fun. And then we have the alternate strategy of if we keep seeing these like black-white cards wheel and we don't see storm cards coming around, then we can kind of switch into black-white aggro. Like we could have taken Student, but I'm going to take Scolding Tarn. So it's like we have two very good options that have kind of been ahead of us this whole game. And I know people always comment like, oh no, you could have taken this card and drafted this deck. It's like, yeah, but I didn't. So I don't... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm explaining why I'm taking these cards over these cards and it's they're more fun and I think it's more powerful like a good storm deck I think is better than a good white weenie deck although white weenie will beat storm almost every time just because of like Thalia and strip mine and stuff so I'm gonna take mole drifter here passing on yeah we could have taken lodestone but yeah I'll take mole drifter I, okay, now I'm pretty happy. Wow. Okay, now I'm kind of all in on High Tide. High Tide, Turnabout, Frantic Search, Time Spiral is like the best thing I could ever ask for. Memory Jar? All right. I have no more regrets. This is looking sweet already. Let's take the jar. We could be Mono Blue Storm or even Red. I mean, I'll take the Pyrotic Ritual. I don't think Thing in the Ice is that great. And I don't need Empty. Mana Confluence is fine. Hmm. Dark Petition or... Badlands. So Badlands makes Scalding Tarn get black. Dark Petition is also very good, but we kind of want to keep our mana to a minimum, right? We want to stay basically blue. So I'm actually not going to take Dark Petition. I'm just going to take some fixing. Wow, Tide Hollow Wield. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I take Mizium Mortars here. Yeah. Incinerate. Okay. So if we get Thousand Year Storm. Wow, black-white, just nobody ever drafts it. That's the other benefit of that archetype, is like, if it's open, it's just open. But blue appeared to be open in our first picks. People passed, like, turnabout. Someone took Dark Ritual, so tendrils might be gone, but people don't respect High Tide, and what did we get last? Spear of Heliod. Wow. People don't respect High Tide, so it's pretty likely we get it. And then, honestly, Banefire, we don't even need a Storm Wind Condition, because... Let's say we have five lands. We use a land to play high tide. Ooh, Ancient Tomb's good. Uh, wow, actually, there's a lot of good picks there. Like Gifts, Fire Nice is very nice, and then Mind Slaver. Oh, uh, this is kind of challenging because Ancient Tomb is good with Frantic Search, Turnabout. Yeah, actually, it's it's too good to pass. The Mana Acceleration is powerful. Um, so we have one Mold Drifter. We could take Oath. I think we're going to try and wheel Oath. Um, Demonic Tutor is very nice. Right now I have two black sources. Also, Ponder is very good. So, Demonic Tutor gets... <laughs> it gets good and bad if we get High Tide. It's a second copy of High Tide, so I think I need to take it. But I would also love Ponder. But this card's actually just very solid. Um, Impulse? Ooh. That card should come around, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pick up an Impulse here. We basically just need as... Oh! Oh! Okay, I don't think I can pass this card. It's way too good for the deck. Actually, Fast Bond's not even that good, so never mind. I'm just not passing this. Brain Freeze. 
I probably can't pass that either. Okay. So yeah, Demonic Tutor basically grabs High Tide. And what was I saying? We have five lands. We go Island. We have eight mana. Frantic Search puts us up to 11. And then Turnabout uh, goes down to seven and then adds 10. So 17. So we could Banefire for 17 with five lands in play. <laughs> Ooh, Force of Will is nice. That's a great way to protect the combo, stop your opponents from doing stuff. We could also cast a very hasty Ugin, but I think Force is better. Ooh, Steam Vents. Ooh, Metamorphos. Oh, man. I want them both. Because Metamorphos is so good with Thousand Year Storm, but it's pretty likely we want to be red. Actually, yeah, I think I take Steam Vents because it's super likely we want to be red, and we're only going to run Metamorphos if we're red. And Steam Vents is a red source that's also an island, so it's kind of everything we would want. Wow, Mana Flare? I want to pass Tendrils. Expansion Explosion would be a real nice way to win the game. But we have Frantic Search, Turnabout, and Time Spiral, so I think Mana Flare's got to be the pickup. And then Fire Nice is nice. It rhymes, but it's pretty good passing on Artisan. So now we kind of just want Thousand... What is going on? How did Ponder come around? All right, I will not complain about that one. Uh, I don't know if I want this in the deck, but it's kind of a sweet way to win. I think I'd take Wilderness Reclamation. Well, let's see, Expansion Explosion is gone, but this does just let us go off, so I'll take that. We can pass, take Pyroclasm, uh, Maelstrom, Kaya, it doesn't... Silverblade, okay. This card's kind of interesting. If we, like, combo off and then run out of mana, wow. Okay. I will take Mox Sapphire. This card is the best thing we could have asked for because it's an it's a Mox, but it taps for blue so we can use it to play High Tide without tapping our islands. That's amazing. Super happy about that. Would love to wheel Mana Vault or Ulamog, but I can't I can't be too upset here. Ooh. Okay, we have a couple choices. Basically it's Consecrated Sphinx or Emrakul. Scalding Tarn, Ancient Tomb. I kind of feel like cutting Ancient Tomb now. I could, I took it so highly, but we have High Tide. So we can cast the Sphinx pretty early. We can combo into Emrakul, but Emrakul doesn't actually win the game. And the Sphinx is a great way to fill our hand, so I'm going to take that. Um, Chrome Box is pretty nice. How many card draw? We don't actually have that much card draw, do we? No, we don't. Hmm... Yeah, I would like another draw seven, like Time Spiral. But Chromebox does just help us go off. I'm going to take that, try and wheel the search. Ooh, Baral. Ooh, Sheldock Isle? Okay. Still no Thousand Year Storm, so that's a little sketchy. But Sheldock Isle with Memory Jar. Actually, is that even that good? Baral just makes everything so cheap. Comboing off is so easy. Yeah, we'll take Baral. Miscalc. Oh, Misty Rainforest. Uh, actually, maybe I need the interaction. Misty Rainforest gives us another copy of Steam Vents. Whereas Miscalc... I'm gonna take the Misty. Oh, Gush. Gotta take Gush. I love Polluted Delta here, but we just took Misty, so we can get more consistency. Uh, we kind of need a backup Wincon, so I think Banefire is coming in. Windswept Teeth doesn't do anything. So, Field of Rune for the sideboard, maybe. LED. That's pretty nice. There's also Blood Crypt. So what does LED do for us? LED is good with Memory Jar and Time Spiral. And if we get a Yawgmoth's Will, which I don't think we can anymore. Whereas Blood Crypt is basically a second copy of Badlands so that we can play Demonic Tutor like pretty consistently. I'm just going to take LED. It seems more powerful. Ooh, I like Negate. Uh, Taiga lets... No, Misty can already get red. So we're just going to take Negate here. Treasure Cruise. That is the card draw we were looking for. Oh, interesting. Bayou lets Misty Rainforest grab black. I'm just going to take T-Cruise, though. I think we do need more card draw. I like Jataxian Probe. Wow, this deck can just go off. It's pretty bad against um, opposing Emrakuls. So at that point, we just have to kill them with Banefire. But we can generate so much mana that it's like not impossible. Because this whole deck is like one giant fireball. I think I'm actually just going to cut these. I think I like Pyretic Ritual. I don't have Past in Flames though, so this does get a lot worse. But yeah, we're just like one giant fireball here. So 
We kind of want to make sure we hit a land drop every turn. So that's a spell. We have 23. That is a deck. I mean, honestly, bane firing them for lethal is not that hard in this deck. And yeah, LED seems nice with memory jar, treasure cruise, time spiral. Yeah, let's do it. Run this plus a bunch of lands. <clears throat> Eat zero one. I kind of want to cut Pyretic Ritual for a land, actually. Just because we want more lands with High Tide, Mana Flare, and Time Spiral. Um, right now we have one. Maybe I just cut Demonic Tutor. It makes our mana so much better to get rid of it. Okay. And then I just run... We're all in. I'm just going to run Ritual because we have Baral, so it can get pretty good. And then 10 and 2, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 red sources and then a bunch of islands i'm on board i am on board let's see how this deck does it's pretty sweet we can brain freeze people very easily if they have eldrazi it's going to be much harder but we got this so you guys run one well this hand's good it's a turn one brawl so let's keep it and just find high tide and then brawl into frantic search gets there uh-oh opponent is going turn one thing Okay, Stoneforge it is. So ice is actually pretty good against most swords because we can ice whatever they equip a sword to. Uh, what sword do we not want to see? War and Peace is fine. That card, it will hit us for a lot of damage. Oh, we can just fire the Stoneforge. That doesn't really accomplish anything. Let's just go turn one brawl, island mox. Saving to Taxian Probe because I don't really need it. And it'll help us generate storm, con like storm on the turn we go off. So I imagine a deck playing Stoneforge has no Eldrazi in it. So we can get him with Brain Freeze, hopefully. So here they're just going to play the sword using Stoneforge. <clears throat> uh, now, now I'm a bit concerned by their mana. So I think I do Jataxian Probe. Because I'm not in a position to go off yet anyway, so I do need to find cards. Wildfire, Venser, Sword, Remand, Chandra. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, can I go off? There's really no need to go off. How much storm do I need? I have one, two, three, four. No, no way. So, they showed the sword. They don't have any mana. I kind of want to just play ice. Because we're very close to going off. So... Although they get to equip the sword, I can just tap their creature down and draw a card. And if things get really sketchy, I can block with Baral, although I think that's a bad idea. Puts the sword into play. So if opponent top deck is exactly a blue source, then maybe. <laughs> well, I don't even talk. It's okay, though, because if they try and equip sword, and that's pro red and white, so we can still ice it. The problem is they have remand up. But honestly, Remand just generates Storm for us, so let's just tap this. Yeah, like if they Remand our Frantic Search, that's cool. We get more Storm. Ooh. Oh my gosh, if we get High Tide here, it's game over. High Tide. Moldrifter is pretty good. Um, we can Evoke Moldrifter. Opponent can Remand that, and that's somewhat of an issue. But Sword doesn't just kill us, but then they hold up Venser. This is mildly problematic. I kind of want a frantic search. They can remand that as well. So let's get remand out of their hand. Okay. All right. Uh, next turn we can go off. So we just take a hit for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. Okay. It's a, it's a very real cost to pay. And hope opponent doesn't just cast Venser. Because Venser on... Yeah, actually, that's problematic. Well, we go for it. They can bounce that, but then they're not bouncing Baral. Remand. Okay. Man, we're just getting tempoed out here. So I can Frantic Search and untap three lands. So, right, tap two, untap three. And then I can go high tide into four mana so i have to draw like high tide into turnabout because on their turn they can just go vencer bounce Baral, and kill me 
So I think I actually do have to just try and go off here. Let's go Frantic Search. Um, Pyrenic Ritual is nice. How much mana can I get up to? Well, I'm not planning, playing any lands. Uh, one, two, three is what I get. Or I have to go one, two, three. And then Pyretic Ritual puts us up to five mana, so I can actually Time Spiral. Yeah, so I'm discarding these two, because I played a land already. Yeah, I played Mountain, so I don't need you two. Or I guess I discarded this, just on the off chance that I survive this turn. Untap this, this, and this. Pyretic Ritual. And unfortunately, I cannot go Mana Flare into Time Spiral. I'm one mana short, so... I just have to natural time spiral here. And then we can go like high tide turnabout something something. Man, that was a bad. That was a bad hit. Alright, Impulse. You got some work to do. In fact, I don't know what Impulse can hit. Frantic Search? Frantic Search, Turnabout, Treasure Cruise. I guess Frantic Search is the hit. Doesn't really matter. We could have gone for ice, but I think at this point we kind of just have to try and win the game. So now we go Frantic Search, floating this blue. And we have to draw like Brain Freeze, and then we can get him with Memory Jar Brain Freeze. Ugh. All right. Opponent has Miscalc. Well, I guess we're on Chump with Brawl. <laughs> we just drew way too many lands in this hand. It was a good effort. If we hit Brain Freeze there, we could have killed him. They redrew Venser. Okay, and that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, opponent killed us in two hits. So they have some type of interaction. I think we still just run it. They didn't really get to see everything that our deck does. Okay, game two, let's go first. This might be one of our worst matchups because opponent has... Uh, this hand is good and bad. Um, opponent has interaction and pressure, which is like the way to beat Storm. Because people always think beating Storm is just like, oh, you like thought sees them twice. But if you're not killing them fast enough, you can recover from that. Ugh, this hand is like so close, but turnabout with lands is without lands is pretty bad. But we have a lot of bad draws, but it has all the components. Plus we have force of will. Can't really exile this card. Yeah, okay. If we draw like island, island, high tide, we could just kill them probably. So I think it's worth it. Plus we have the mountain for mana flare if it comes to that. So yeah, we just basically want to draw islands. Here we go, go, and yeah, I think right now I'm going to be exiling Turnabout to Force of Will if they play like Stoneforge here. Oh, I like Moldrifter. I'm just going to evoke it. They can counter it, but that's fine. We just want to make sure... Ooh, okay. Well, this is a very good start. In fact, this might even kill them next turn. We don't have to. Like, if they don't do anything, I'm not going to do anything. PNLR, sure. Alright, see what we draw. That's probably enough. I can probably just kill them now. Let me make sure I do the math. So we go Mox, Mana Flare off 1, 2, 3. Then we go turn about our lands. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then Frantic Search puts us up to 11. Yeah. Let's go Mox. 2, 3 for Mana Flare. Turn about. Target me, land, untap. Then we go frantic search. Uh, I like repeal on Mox is mana neutral. I feel like at this point I probably just don't need force of will. So let's discard these two. Tap those. Let's go repeal on the Mox. Ooh, I like that. Pyretic ritual. Play Mox. So, Memory Jar, make sure we get some blue here. So I can Brain Freeze them for 24 and then pop Memory Jar. All right, right, Storm Count of 8, that's 24. Memory Jar, we each draw 7, so this way they die right now. I guess I don't need to Let's just Brain Freeze them here. See their deck, they probably don't have Eldrazi, and then Memory Jar kills them. And doing it this way lets us... Like, most people are like, oh, he didn't count. Inferno Titan, so they have Remand, Miscalculation, Mana Tithe. Snapcaster. Okay, so they don't have that much disruption. Wow, that was a terrible hand. <laughs> the hand was so bad. 
<laughs> Alright, I think... Uh, do I really need Mizium Mortars or like a Pyroclasm? I saw Vencer, Stoneforge, PNLR. I think... Oh, I probably don't need Banefire. Alright, I'm okay cutting Banefire for Pyroclasm. And then we just... We just can't get our Brain Freeze exiled. <laughs> yeah, it seems fine. Opponent didn't have an Eldrazi in their deck last time, so they probably won't this time. And even if they do, with the interaction between Memory Jar and Brain Freeze, you can still kill them if you get the shuffles right. So if you Brain Freeze for a bunch, and the Eldrazi happens to be in the bottom six cards of their library, they can still lose. Time Spiral. Mm, okay, so we're going to go Island. Can I... Possibly Consecrated Sphinx next turn. I go Stevens, Mox, Pyretic up to four. I cannot. So I think I'm going to wait. And I want to ponder before fetching. That way, it's just better. If I ponder and find one good card and two bad cards, um, then I have to shuffle them away. This way I just have more information on what I want. This is a Rebel Master that's kind of bad, though. Stoneforge. Oh, and they have the Mox so they can hit us next turn. All right, Pyroclasm. <laughs> Everyone with the Swords of Body and Mind, man. Sword of Body and Mind doesn't do anything. It's just a slower kill than War of Peace. We have Time Spiral in your deck. Oh, okay. Um, Let's play Misty. Oh, wait. Basically, I don't want to get my Ponder Manatithed. Eh, that's okay. Manatithed is going to hit something like Time Spiral, so I might as well run it out. Okay, Ponder, Chromebox, Treasure Cruise, Lands. So Chromebox is just better than casting Pyretic Ritual. And next turn I can go... This turn I go Steam Vents Tapped, and that's two lands. Next turn I go a third land, plus Mox, Mox, Mox. Cast a Consecrated Sphinx. Okay, so let's put all those on top. Treasure Cruise is the least important. In fact, I don't think I want to... Maybe I just don't want to draw the rest. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to put both these on top and put this on top. Shuffle, no. And then play Misty. Tap. There. So I can draw a mountain if I feel the need. Fall of Omens. So opponent puts down Sword of Body and Mind, which is okay. Yeah, I think I can draw better than Mountain. Although I do want to hit lands for Time Spiral. I have two land drops. I feel like Binning Mountain might be too greedy. No, I, I can draw better in before I get stifled. <laughs> can you imagine stifle in Vintage Cube? That'd be so gross. They would like stifle my Storm Trigger or something like that. Fire and Ice. Ooh, I like that too. So if opponent... All right, let's go Mox. Mox. Steam Vents. I could also be hit by Remand. Hmm. Yeah, so Remand, Miscalc, and Manatithe all make this Consecrated Sphinx play pretty bad. So I'm just going to pass turn and ice whatever they equip the sword to, which I guess has to be Stoneforge. That buys me like a decent amount of time. I'm not like scared of the hit, but I kind of want to tap them out of mana. Humeral, okay. Actually, at this point, I should just kill this. Because they can play... They can remand this, but then I just cast it for the other cost. And now they have to play a creature if they want to equip sword next turn, so I get like plenty of time. Oh gosh, remand would be the greatest thing right now. Yes. Yes. Okay, now I got everything I want. The remand is out of their hand. We still get to ice the stone forge, and we get to draw a card, and the opponent is tapped out, and we have brain freeze in hand. All around a good situation. Impulse. So... I can just go Chromox Exiling Pyretic Ritual, which I think is correct. Yes. And I think I just jam Consecrated Sphinx. They can hit me with the sword, but I can Time Spiral my graveyard back. Hopefully they don't upkeep vents or me. Okay, good. And this mill's 10? Yeah. The card just seems way worse than Sword of War and Peace. Also, we haven't drawn a land. What the heck? Yep, you hit me, you get a wolf. So now we can repeal the sword and it block with Sphinx. Okay, good. Land is nice. 
Um, yeah, I don't see a reason to do anything here. Sword hits me down to three. So if I draw here, I go down to one. But I can still win. Yeah. So draw two. I cannot cast Gush and take a sword hit. So they can put me to one card in Lavery, but not zero. And then I could just time spiral them all back on top. And I'm going to try and repeal the sword. Two, three, four. Okay. Well, that works. Block here. And is Force of Will gone? Force of Will is not. So I can try and find it if anything bad happens. Recast sword. Okay. Re-equip sword. You got it. Maybe I should have tried to find Force of Will here. Okay. Is High Tide? High Tide is gone. Okay. So let's go end of turn impulse. Oh, negate's nice. Is Turnabout still here? Okay, Turnabout's still there. Frantic Search is not. Mana Flare is gone as well. And Baral is also gone. Okay, Turnabout's good. <laughs> it generates one mana. So Turnabout... Oh, I can actually use that as a failsafe just to tap their sword down. But I feel like going for it here is just fine. Turnabout, me, land, untap. Okay. Um, might as well just play Time Spiral. With Consecrated Sphinx out, I can basically draw everything I would want. So let's draw. Ooh, Brawl. Yeah, we should just get there. Draw. We have like High Tide, Frantic Search, Turnabout, Force of Will in hand now. Um, High Tide, Turnabout, Frantic Search. I don't think I need any more cards. Uh, I need Brain Freeze. Yeah, I don't currently have Brain Freeze. Still don't. There it is. Okay, so let's start with High Tide. I don't actually want to play Mana Flare. That gives them way more things to interact with, and I don't need that much mana. Now I can play Brawl. Um, probe, look at your hand. Okay, so they have Mana Tide. Good to know. Don't think that'll come up. Actually... Yeah, given that, I could just play um, Wild or Mana Flare here. Then let's go Turnabout, me, A1, land, untap. And if I don't draw any more cards, then I can still Memory Jar and kill them before they have a chance to untap. But their hand doesn't do anything at instant speed, so that's not necessary. Okay, we win the match. That was sweet. This deck is very, very solid. It's all in, but it's good at what it does. See you guys round two. Here for round one, let's, or round two, sorry. Go first. Yeah, this hand has, it has the components. It's got Baral turnabout. So we have a way to generate mana. Repeal keeps us alive. And then Memory Jar is just good. I don't really want to fetch Misty just yet because we have cards like Ponder in our deck. Creeping Tarpon. And we do also want to draw land, so no real need to do that. Also, that exposed us to Wasteland because we'd be, we'd be getting Steam Vents. Boros Signet, okay. <clears throat> I think I just repeal this Signet. Set up for a Time Spiral. Yeah, let's do that. Baral plus Repeal is kind of sweet because Repeal, then you just pay X. Um, now I'll just play a Misty and attack. So next turn, I can just go Turnabout Time Spiral. Because turnbout costs three times spiral costs four. That's scary. To fairy. I don't like them. Uh, do I want to draw Brawl? I think I don't. So we're going to shuffle. And we're just going to bane fire the to fairy. Steam vents. Oh. Uh, I can also just cast memory jar here. <sighs> just casting memory jar seems so good. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I could Banefire the Teferi next turn. Honestly, Teferi doesn't... Now that he's down ticked, he doesn't do that much. But killing him does generate mana for us. Or prevent them from generating mana, I mean. Signet Revoker on Jar. Okay. I'd rather have them hit Jar than Mox Pearl. I can kill either one. They untap two. Hmm. That's pretty good. Uh, if we draw a single land, we're golden. 
So let's just kill this. Leave them with the Teferi. They get to draw a card. But we have like memory jar LED. Yeah. Memory jar LED is very risky though. Because you discard the cards you get at the end of turn. So ideally we would play time spiral. And ideally we hit a land so turnabout actually generates mana. Okay. Um what if I crack memory jar here? Is that crazy? I don't think that's crazy. Here we go. Frantic search. Well, we might just be able to go off right now. Discard this and this. Opponents down like a lot of cards. Hyretic? I don't know if this is lethal. I don't think it is, but it's pretty close. Brain freeze them down to seven cards. Unfortunately, we just have to time spiral them, but I think it was a good effort. Okay, so they have Blightsteel Colossus in their deck. That's going to get harder. If Memory Jar... Okay. Well, good thing we shuffled away the bad cards. So land off the top means we can just uh, no longer do it. Uh, no, land off the top we can still go off. Or High Tide. What else did they have? Thirst, Phyrexian Arena, could all the Forge Master. So I feel like they probably have Tinker in their deck. Island, one, two, three, four. So I can turn about, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Turn about, me, land, untap, cast LED. If this whiffs, I can't actually win the game anyway, so control, cast time spiral, crack this for a bunch of blue. They showed mana leak, so that's something to worry about, but I think we might be able to get there. Um, let's go high tide. Mana Flare. This might actually just be lethal. Turnabout. Me. Land. Untap. 16, 17. Yeah, Banefire you for a bunch. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's any instant speed life gain, so we'll just Banefire for it all. Wow, that was way easier to generate that much mana than I thought it would be. Got him. All right. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's how you beat a Blightsteel. You just Bane fire him. I like having Brain Freeze in because if we can Memory Jar, we can still just kill them. Wow, I never thought I would be playing Storm Bane fire. That was awesome. Well, this hand does technically have the combo. Um, we would need 11 lands to kill them with a natural Bane fire. If we draw a Frantic Search, we would need much, much less. I think we can do better. Wow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put that on top for certain. Turn one brawl is pretty good in this deck. All right, Dark Slick Shores. I don't think I saw Mana Tithe or Force Spike or Spell Pierce in their deck. Let's go with that. I guess I might as well probe before. No, there's no reason to probe right now, actually. Let's just go. I don't have any interaction. Like, probe doesn't change my decisions, so I'd rather save it until I can generate a storm count with it. Ooh, Pyritic Ritual. So let's start with Ponder. Brain Freeze. I don't really want Brain Freeze because I have Time Spiral, but I do want to hit Land Drops. I'll put that on top. Put that on top. Put that on top. Shuffle, no. And then we just play Scalding Tarn and hit for one. Yeah. Casting Brain Freeze into Time Spiral, not the best play. But I believe I can Time Spiral next turn. Let's grab a Steam Vents. Right, let's see what's going on over there. Teferi, Snapcaster, Negate, and then a Council of Judgments that they will never cast. Okay. Good to know about Negate. Go Island. So, <laughs> pretty bad to go for Time Spiral right now, but opponent has to tap out at some point. Otherwise, they just die anyway. And we can, um, we can ice them on the turn that they would be casting Teferi. So they play Swamp, no plays. And then we just ice them next turn. Hit for one. Uh, yeah. Is that good? Maybe that's not even good. I just let them play Teferi. Because they would have to hit a white source too. And then we can ice the land they untap from the Teferi uptick. I think opponent's debating if they should just run out Snapcaster. And I think the answer is probably yes. Oh yeah, that's actually really bad. If we ice them, then they negate. And then they just hold up Snapcaster negate. 
Ooh, Force of Will is good. So let's hit. The Stillmate favors me. As long as I'm continuing to put lands into play, I'm okay with it. And I don't want to play a spell because then they get to use Negate land. Yes. You got to do something, bro. This is making my Banefire much easier. Will they discard Council's Judgment, probably? Oh, yeah, Memory Jar also makes sense. Well, I'll just keep putting lands into play. This, uh, this is going well for me. All right, so they play Teferi. We're going to ice the lands they untap. That doesn't work, because now they have one open. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, because I still have Negate up. I do have Force of Will, so maybe I just use Ice to pitch to Force. Okay, I'm okay with that. That just increases the storm count then. Yeah, let's do it. Cast Pyretic. Cast Time Spiral. Force that. We get to loot? Uh, sure. Well, Time Spiral is resolving, so it doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Opponent didn't keep up islands. Classic mistake. So let's start with Ponder. Just to know if we're actually going to get there. Turnabout, Repeal, Island. Hmm. <clears throat> so that can generate a ton of mana, but it doesn't actually draw what we would like. I can, I guess, what can I do? One, two, three, a bunch of mana. I can, like, Repeal to Fairy and cast a Consecrated Sphinx. Because Gush only draws two, so it would just be these three. Um, I think I'm going to shuffle. Chromox. I might as well play Gush, because I have a lot of lands. Okay, Memory Jar probably means we're fine to go off. So let's go High Tide, Red, Pyretic Ritual, Chromox Exiling Negate, play an Island. And I think I go Consecrated Sphinx plus Memory Jar. <clears throat> Puts us down to... Hmm. Well, we're just going to draw Frantic Search because this means we find any card we want. Memory Jar. Uh, use that, I guess. Yeah. Memory Jar. So we can basically find every card in our deck here. So draw two. Frantic Search, Brain Freeze, Turnabout. I need to find uh, the burn spell though. Mana Flare. Okay, Banefire is good. I think we have everything we need, so I could just say no. All right, so let's go. Mana Flare lets them out of this. I don't think I actually need Mana Flare. I could just go Turnabout, me, here. Yeah, Mana Flare lets them like negate, land, untap. Uh, Frantic Search, or er, wait, that's just lethal. Okay, Banefire you. 17. That's how you do it. See you guys in the finals. I'm ready. Let's go. Ooh, this hand is dirty. I'm going to keep this for sure. Banefire, I never in a million years thought I would be doing this, but boy, is it fun. <clears throat> okay, so I'm actually going to cast Probe. I don't want to get uh, four spiked or dazed because Brawl is very good. Thief of Sanity, Massacre Worm. What? This hand's pretty bad. Yeah, like, sure. I guess Thief of Sanity is kind of a problem, but we have Brawl, so. Gosh, knowing your opponent's hand is just so powerful. Go ahead. If they try and animate dead, we can repeal the animate dead. Polluted Delta down. Ponder is good. Let's go Ponder. LED Island Island. I think I want to shuffle. Max Pearl's good. Um. I kind of want to wait on the impulse, but I will play Mox Pearl. That way I can repeal the thief end of turn. Hit for one, makes Banefire cheaper. Against an opponent playing Animate Dead, I highly doubt they would have an Eldrazi to make Brain Freeze not lethal. Okay, so they go Island Thief most likely. Sure. But we get to use the top secret plays here. Um... All right, let's play Impulse. Or two, three, four. I could just play Memory Jar. It's probably a much better use of our mana, huh? 
And I guess I need to find a red source. Because if I find a red source, I could just bane fire down the little little token, whatever that card is. Notion Thief. Or Thief of Sanity, sorry. Chrome Box. Alright, let's start with Impulse. Try and find a red source. Uh yeah. And I don't want brain freeze on the very bottom, so we'll do that. Let's go mountain. Kill thief. Oh. Wait, can I, uh, one, two, three, I can make this uncounterable, but then I don't have memory jar up, so let's just do it for x equals two. It should be two. X currently equals two. Okay, done. All right, figured out how to cast that with Brawl. <laughs> and then hit for one. And opponent can go animate dead, I guess, but otherwise their hand is not good. Five mana, the scare of God. Not really scared of that card. Treasure Cruise. Three, four, five, six. Let's play a Sphinx. And Sphinx plus Memory Jar is also just lethal. So, like, they can get back Thief of Sanity. They can hit me for some damage. None of that does anything. Draw two. So, I know Brain Freeze is on the bottom, so I want to shuffle before I Memory Jar so that I can find it easier. Because once I have Memory Jar out, I only need a mill them for 20 that's like seven spells that's basically nothing and i can do something sweet so i can play chromox and with chromox on the stack i can crack memory jar that way i don't have to use a card for my current hand if i want to i'll probably just exile treasure cruise um so opponent has massacre worm i don't know how they would reanimate it but i'm just going to take the five i like that let's go with the ritual Misty, crack with Misty, grab, I don't really need a Steam Vents, so let's just grab an Island. Um, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to do the play that we discussed. Play Chrome Mox, with that on the stack, crack Memory Jar. So now they kind of have to kill Consecrated Sphinx, otherwise this happens. And now I have Force of Will, so High Tide, LED, Turnabout. We just need Brain Freeze. Or honestly, Banefire can just do it. And I did shuffle, so Brain Freeze is random, but maybe not. Three. So I can get it off of Frantic Search, I guess. If it's the last card in my library, I guess I can hit it with Ice. So I don't want to do this anymore because Frantic Search and Ice get me there. And this can exile Mole Drifter, I guess. So let's go. High Tide's a little scary. The opponent has so much mana now. And Mana Flare. So they have like 15,000 mana, but I have way more counter spells than they could possibly have. Let's go uh, Frantic Search. Because this one needs to resolve. And if all else fails, I could just Time Spiral. And then that with Consecrated Sphinx can get back Bane Fire. Discard these two. Three. Go LED. Brain freeze, storm count is six, so that would be seven. Yeah. And if they stop this somehow, or they have an Eldrazi, then we time spiral, grab Bane Fire, and kill them that way. I have two counter spells. Hard to imagine them getting through two counter spells. They're cycling miscalc. <laughs> that card is not good here. I guess their hope is I say yes, maybe. <laughs> it's not a bad play. I th that looked like that was their hope. I respect it. All right, all right. So they don't have an Eldrazi, so I could just keep the main deck configuration the same. Wow. This hand, this deck, everything about this whole situation is the most fun I've had playing Magic. Oh, they have Black Lotus. The thing is, that's not even that scary. Like, turn one Jace is fine. You're making it more likely for me to mill you out. Like, it's, it's good. I'm not saying it's a bad play by any means, but I, if you're using Black Lotus to draw cards, that's usually not the correct use of it because the whole point of having cards in hand is so you can put stuff into play or, like, impact your opponent. What opponent did just now is they used Black Lotus plus Jace, so that's two cards, to probably draw three cards with Jace. So they basically cast a zero-mana draw... Two 
or like, you know what I mean? It's not that good. Whereas if you use Black Lotus to cast like a Grave Titan turn three, then you just win the game. Steaman's tapped. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's go Mox. They showed Miscalc, so I'm not going to play into it. I can wait one more turn, draw a land, and then have up a bunch of stuff. I doubt the opponent starts plussing Jace. Yeah. Yeah, so they that that's just not a good use of Black Lotus. I mean, if their hand was very bad, this is probably better than the average keep, but it's just medium. All right, let's impulse, try and hit a land. I'll just get an island. I don't really want to take more damage worse than the lands. Ooh, Frenic Surge is good. Vendillion click. Don't really have anything, so you got it. Do they take Baral? I think they take Baral, but that could just draw me into High Tide, which is super scary. You took Memory Jar? Okay. So their plan is to cut me off of resources, I suppose. But let's just play Baral. I have Negate up, and I have basically infinite... Well, not infinite, but I have a ton of mana. I guess Memory Jar makes the most sense now, because that does deny me seven cards. Okay, I'm back on board. <clears throat> but we have a lot of live draws. Entomb. I feel like I want to negate the Entomb, but I also kind of want to use Negate to protect myself. So that's fine. It just feels like a bait, because they know I have Negate. So why, else, why would you cast Entomb main phase? Sower of Temptation. Right, getting that down. Well, if this happens, I'm just gonna go for it next turn. I get to loot off Baral, opponent's tapped out, and I have quite a few ways to get a bunch of card advantage here. So I think this seems good to me. Easy ability, discard island. I'm just gonna go for it next turn. Inquisition, Thoughtseize, that would be bad. Oh, Tessigre. Um, okay. Now I don't feel the need to go for it, but I do want to hit a land drop, so I'm at least going to use Detaxing Probe here. It also tells me if the coast is clear next turn. Treachery and the Scarab God, okay. Hmm. So I have three draw steps to hit something. Otherwise they, did they have a land? They did. Otherwise they treachery me in my Baral and play the Scarab God. I feel like I'm much more likely to go off with Baral in play than not in play, so let's just go for it. Let's cast. Frantic search, discarding ritual, and island. The thing is now I'm kind of digging for time spiral or brain freeze, because turnabout costs four. Right now turnabout costs four and generates six. So it's the same as playing a land. And if I draw a land, turnabout generates more. So I do discard this island, as weird as that seems. And we play ponder. Moldrifter land land. That does not work. Treasure cruise is good. Okay, let's do T cruise. Exiling land, land, negate, land. Uh, probably don't need this probe blue. Consecrated Sphinx. Okay. Can I just go Consecrated Sphinx and then ice their island? That seems probably like a higher chance of getting there. How much mana do I have? I'm playing a land here. I have eight, so I can do that. Let's repeal the Mox just to see if I can get any other stuff there. Mana Flare. I have Mana Flare turnabout, so I can actually just go off next turn. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna play Consecrated Sphinx and then ice their land on their upkeep because we know their hand. So ice, tap that. I know they activate Tasker in response now, but buys us a turn. And with three draw steps, I think uh, we should be able to hit something here. They didn't activate Tasker? Hmm. Did I exile Memory Jar? Memory Jar was put on the bottom, and I think I shuffled off the Ponder, so it could be anywhere. Block here and take four. Oh, that was a mistake. No, because they cannot Tassiger. Yeah, yeah, because they have double mana. They can activate Tassiger. No, that was a huge mistake. Good play by the opponent. 
Because now they can take Time Spiral out of my hand if they hit a non-land card. Hmm. Right? If I go Mana Flare Turnabout, my opponent... Yeah, that was so bad. They get Vendillion Click. That puts it on the bottom, but I do still have a Mole Drifter. I think that's actually still fine. Let's do this. And if they don't see that play or they hit any other spell, then we're also okay. Turnabout, me... Yeah, so they're going to go for it. That was a big mistake. Very solid play by the opponent. I'll just give them Vraska's Contempt. And they can Contempt, but I still get to Time Spiral with Mana Flare in play, so... And they probably kill Baral, honestly. Alright. Good plays, but we should be fine here. Land, untap. Um, I can evoke Moldrifter because I have so much mana that if I just hit lethal here, it's better to do this. Oh, there we go. Time Spiral. I just need to... actually don't... Did I exile my Ritual? Oh, I need Banefire mana. Oh, I forgot to crack LED. It doesn't matter. So we have five lands. Okay. Um, let's turn about. Me. Land. Untap. That's like infinite mana. Let's cast Ponder. Uh, sure. No. So let's play Memory Jar. And with that plus Brain Freeze, I should be able to get him even if they have um, an Eldrazi. Hopefully. See what we got. We're going to crack Jar when they get down to six cards. I have Force of Will to stop anything. We win! Wow, that was... That was the best deck I think I've ever drafted. Uh, we lost one round. I forget how we lost, but this deck had everything. It was missing... If, if LED was Black Lotus, maybe it would be better. I mean, definitely it would be better. But, like, honestly, this deck was so good. It's... If you want to draft Storm, just High Tide, Frantic Search, Turnabout, and, like, a Mana Flare. That's all the mana you need. Wow. Wow. That was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, maybe subscribe to the channel and check out. So the the thing, the end screens might be showing two things up there. And there's a playlist on the left that has all my favorite decks where I put the drafts like this. So go check those out and see you guys soon.